you get Neon's letter? Never mind, it's a bit of a chore. Here, check out these puppies. All the photos from yesterday. Yep, I'd probably steer clear of that mailbox of yours for today. But, uh, even if you didn't and someone did write you a letter telling you to hold up on the investigation, you'd ignore it, wouldn't ya? Because we made a promise to get to the bottom of all this, didn't we? Your mission, if you choose to accept it, is to take these here photographs to the folk we talked about yesterday and find out what all they know. I take care of it myself, but to be honest, I can't rightly stand listening to half the folk around here for more than about a minute and a half. So the responsibility therefore lands squarely on you and your lonesome. With all this here evidence and whatnot, everybody will have no choice but to spill the beans about what they know. At least, I assume that's how it works. So, you ready? Yeehaw! Knew I could count on you. Once we clear Logan's name, we'll be heroes. Maybe they'll hold a parade for us. But let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. I gotta get back to the ranch before my pa notices there ain't nobody keeping the yakmail company. Let's meet up at the blue moon once you've got the scoop. should have drew this. If I knew what was going to happen, I never would have. We used to go on lots of adventures. When Logan changed. He didn't care about me, or my mom, or anybody. My mom said if things get better, we were going to rebuild a school in Sand Rock. But things got worse because of Logan! Now I'm the only kid in town. Hey, are you okay? He told me right before the incident everything would be okay. He lied. Hey! Are you okay? Logan used to be my friend. But now, I hate him.
Oh, hi! You're look- Oh, gosh. You want to know about that night? I was taking the late shift, helping out with patrols, making sure nobody snuck in to see old Howlett, who was being quarantined. It was a stressful time for all of us. Obviously, Logan was affected the most. Sure enough, he showed up and... The last thing I remember is me politely explaining to him that going into the temple right then was against the rules. Then everything went black. When I woke up, everybody helped me to my feet and wanted to know what happened, but... I didn't really see anything. It's all very sad. I can't help but think if Logan hadn't acted so irrationally, perhaps his father would still be... Uh, some things are best not to dwell on. What happened happened. No one wanted it to be this way. Blaming anyone won't bring him back. I think the sooner Logan accepts that and takes responsibility for what he did, well, perhaps the sooner we can have him back in the flock. Maybe the reason no one's talked about this much since you've been here is we're all really sad about the way things turned out. Maybe some people also fear that it's something they did that drove Logan down this path. Logan will come back to the light one day. I'm sure of it. Just make sure to stay safe out there. And remember, we're all in this together, so don't hesitate to ask for help. What's up? Have a good day. Hey there. See ya. Howdy there. Any news to report on the water tower? did you find this? You know, you don't need to be sneaking around, acting all suspicious, if all you're after is information. Yes, this makes sense. Although I must admit, it shows a level of organization from Logan, I can't say I was aware he might be... No doubt you started to put things together since your arrival, but perhaps you'd best hear the tale in its entirety to dispel any misconceptions you might have about the whole ordeal. Not too long before you started living in Sand Rock, a great tragedy struck this town. Howlett, the monster hunter, and his son Logan, with whom you are already quite familiar with, ran into some trouble. Howlett went diving in some ruins explicitly blocked off by the Civil Corps due to an abundance of unknown and dangerous substances. Sure enough, he became contaminated with something bizarre. Logan reacted rather wildly after Pastor Miguel quarantined his father inside the temple and refused to let Logan come in contact with him due to fears of contamination. He couldn't believe his father would be so careless as to come in contact with a dangerous age of corruption. One night during the quarantine, Logan attacked the temple with bombs. I assume it was to free his father from the quarantine. But whatever the case, Logan botched the operation and Parts of the temple collapsed. Us church folk were all outside, but Logan's father was still in there where we'd left him, and when we found him down there, he was already gone. Logan blamed us church folk for what happened. Now he seems bent on some kind of revenge, and he'd sooner take down the whole town if it means getting to us, I reckon. Howdy there! Any news to report on the water tower? Howdy there! Any news to report on the water tower? Of course, I was there at the scene of it all, as were most of us. I came out after the explosion. By the time I knew what was going on, Logan was long gone. I appreciate your concern on the matter. I fear there's not much we can do but trust in the acumen of our civil corps to bring Logan to justice. Without hurting him too much, I hope. Try not to get discouraged. 
There are brighter days ahead, I'm sure of it. Hey, it's Skinny Arms. How can the Protector serve you today? Aha, trying to track down that dastardly Logan, are you? <laughs> Good on you, Skinny. If you do find out where he is, <laughs> why not tell me first? Skip the civil corps. Skip the paperwork, you know. Make sure Logan gets some real justice. No. I thought we were doing extrajudicial stuff already. It's not such a stretch from what you're doing now. Ugh, fine. What do I know? Let me think. The night Logan attacked our temple, I was at home pumping iron. Yes, I believe I was trying to perfect a 300 kilogram clean and press with one finger. Uh, but my darn palmar interosseous muscle was acting up. As soon as I heard the explosion, I rushed out of my room to see Burgess knocked out. Uh, that's something I see all the time, but what really caught my attention was the exploded temple. I managed to catch a glimpse of Logan riding away with someone, but they were too far gone for me to pursue. Maybe it really is time for me to get a loyal steed to call my own. <laughs> nah, I'll just keep training to run faster. Well, I hope you enjoyed listening to my story as much as I enjoyed telling it. Uh, say, Skinny Arms, you're a good listener. I'll have to tell you stories more often. Hey, it's Skinny Arms. How can the Protector serve you today? What's that? Making bombs now, are we? Ha <laughs> ha, finally! You're getting into building cool stuff. I meant to say something to you about all those lame screws and boards and, uh... Oh, I see. <laughs> yes, now that you mention it, I believe I... I have seen these kinds of bombs before. <laughs> yes, yes, uh, it's coming back to me. Uh, that foul Logan's paramount compatriot used those kinds of bombs as his weapons of choice. A bit cowardly, if you ask me. If you don't have the guts to look someone in the eye as you punch them in the teeth, well, in my book, you shouldn't be fighting at all. Furthermore, these puny things would hardly scathe uh, Indomitable chevaliers such as myself. Hey, it's Skinny Arms. How can the Protector serve? No more questions, hmm? I agree. There's a very good chance there's something around here that could aid in Logan's apprehension. Do let me know if you come up with anything good. You're looking into the Logan incident, eh? Dreadful stuff. I'm quite displeased to see things turn out the way they did. Not to mention the fallout since. But it can't be helped. To be blunt, if Howlett had stayed out of the ruins we all know are too dangerous to explore, he'd still be alive. Yes, I made the decision to put Howlett under quarantine. Yes, it did enrage Logan and drive him to madness. But I did what was best for the town, and I'd do it again if I had to. It's not a pleasant tale, just like the state of our world, unfortunately. Hey there. How you holding up? Yeah, not that night. But he came into the saloon that day with Haru, and they were acting real strange, uh, buying up a lot of supplies. It was later that I heard that they blew up the temple in an attempt to get Howlett out, and the old man died in the blast. <sighs> Frankly, even if Logan did manage to get Howlett out of quarantine, it would have endangered us all with the disease. Real sad story. Other than that, though, I'm afraid I don't know much of anything. Hey there, 
how are you holding up? Wow. Where'd you dig up an old relic like that? Ah, uh, yep, yeah, that's me in the background. But I can't say I remember too much about this day. Oh, people were always getting married in the blue moon back then. Logan's Ma. What was she like? I can barely remember her face if not for this photo. She skipped town not too long after Logan was born. It shocked everyone with that move. Hardly worth mentioning Logan's old man. Howlett took it the hardest. But you'd never have guessed it from this photo. <laughs> Looks like a match made in heaven. Except for the tear down the center, I guess. When Howlett came back with the disease and was put in quarantine by the church, Logan really lost it. He started shouting for them to release his paw outside the temple door. Understandable. Howlett was all he had his whole life. <laughs> well, that's not completely true. I considered Logan a friend once. I really just hope he sees through all this madness and turns himself in. Then maybe the healing can begin. Hey there! How you holding up? So you're trying to find out more about him. Well, <laughs> good luck with whatever it is you're doing. And let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Hey there! Hope the pressure's not getting to you too much. Hmm? You're trying to find out more information about Logan, huh? <laughs> well, ain't that cute? I'm afraid there ain't much more to know than what's already been known. But I suppose I wouldn't mind you proving me wrong on that. What? Yeah, yeah, I made this equation. So what? <laughs> I can't hardly be held responsible for everything that moves in and out of my shop now, can I? <laughs> what are you implying, huh? You got a lot of nerve. I'm afraid there ain't much more to know than what's already been known. But I suppose I wouldn't mind you. I'm afraid there ain't much more to know than what's... Huh? So what if I did? What was I supposed to do? His mind was made up. If he had half a mind left at all. Look, I was close with Howlett and Logan as well. What happened to that man was a gosh dang travesty. But that's just the way things are out here sometimes. All it takes is one slip up and you're gone. I always considered myself to be like an uncle to Logan. I would have taken him in. But I guess he didn't see it that way. I worry about what Logan might do. And I worry about how the more things escalate, the less likely I'm ever gonna see that pup I used to know ever again. There ain't gonna be an admirable sentiment at the end of all this. So don't over-involve yourself. Be seeing ya! Yeah, one of my guys, Faye, found this little rascal scrounging around in our scrapyard a little while back. We liked him at first, but he's got some real behavioral problems that, uh, I guess you could say we ain't been equipped to deal with. We had a house meeting and made a unanimous decision to get rid of the cat. So, uh, do you guys want him or not? Oh, look at how cute he is. We'll take him off your hands, won't we? Ma? Pa? Hmm, Coop. I reckon it's all right by me. We wouldn't want this little fella ending up astray. Never met a critter I couldn't whip into shape. We'll take this mongrel off your hands and turn him into a regular, upstanding caddis. By the time I'm done with him, I'll have this little tuna sniffer playing the piano with 13 keys. Woohoo! Hey, I should probably warn you. Now, now. Rest, partner, say us folk in the ranch business, we believe in a little thing called discipline. Backed up by another little thing I like to call integrity. See, our methodology. Yeah, alright, Doc. Thanks for taking the cat. Clearly, you got it under control. Good luck to you then. Good 
that time. Say, how'd you like to get in on a little secret? Here's the scoop. I may or may not be in the possession of information that may or may not lead to the capture of something big, real big. Something simply known in the Yak Girl community as IT. But I'm afraid that's all I can say for now. I'll let you know how it goes. See ya! Hey, look at this little goober here. We're gonna call him Banjo. Ain't that swell? You should come and visit him once he's good and well behaved. there. Here for the ceremony, huh? Well, this is it. I paid an arm and a leg getting advertising all the way out to Atara. And this is the turnout. Hogan, why couldn't he have blown up the water tower next week? Well, better yet, uh, not at all. Well, on the bright side, since there's no one here, there's no one to see how miserable of a failure this is. Thanks for coming out to show your support. 
I'm sure you've still got plenty to do after the attack. It means a lot. This ain't the end of the world, though. Maybe once the Civil Corps finally catch that equipment, I'll paint the slats a different color and rebrand the whole thing or something. I even had this gift specially picked out for my first customer, and I guess my first customer is you now, huh? Er, I guess technically Burgess was here first, but his beliefs wouldn't allow him to accept a relic. There you go. Oh, speaking of Burgess, he wanted to talk to you. He feels responsible for getting the ball rolling on this thing, I guess? I mean, this is nobody's fault but Logan's. But I couldn't convince him otherwise. Catch you later. We'll get him next time. Gosh, real shame about all this. It seems like this whole entertainment thing blew up in our faces, and it's all my fault. If I just hadn't bothered with that darn survey. Well, I suppose one could blame Logan, as his antics did scare everyone away from the ceremony, but oh shucks, let's call it 50-50. What's more, realized that my survey, which was intended to support the need for giving people in town a rest, actually ended up putting you builders back to work. Well, I'm real sorry that things turned out like this. Foresight is not your strong suit. Miguel always says that about me. <laughs> if it means anything, I did want to tell you that I think you did a really great job on the sand sled thing, even if nobody showed up. All the stuff you've been doing for Sandrock? Well, a lot of people appreciate it. We're all rooting for you. So, I saved up some money and got you a week-long pass to ride on Katori's sand sled game as many times as you want. I got one for Mion, too, since you guys have been working so hard lately. Well, have fun! Be careful, those sleds can get real speedy!
So long, partner.
Thank mm -hmm. you. 